Okay, okay, we're gonna. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What's up, guys? My name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic. And uh, I'm pretty excited today. It's uh, not a viewer request, that's coming soon, though. Hopefully, tomorrow. If not, it'll be Thursday. I also got another big project that I'm working on, so I'd like to get that done. And uh, I might mix it up and throw in another game just to kind of fill some of the time because I am trying to maintain the video a day for you guys. Today I'm back with something really cool. Um, it actually took a long, long time to figure out how to set this up. It's a staircase on the one side. And on the other side, if you turn the switch on, we've got an escalator. So it's a little bit jerky. Um, I think it's mainly because there are a, well, you can't really tell from this angle, but there are a lot of segments all attached together on this tread here. So I've been trying to work on an escalator kind of concept. Um, obviously it's still very jerky, but you can see you can just kind of walk off at the end there. The blocks kind of go underneath and way at the bottom here, you can just kind of walk on. I'd like to make tank tracks with a similar design as this. I actually did make a tank, but I, right now there's a little bit of a frame rate drop. You can see sometimes it'll jump around. Um, but it's only a single tread. When you put two treads on, the frame rate tanks. And I haven't been able to figure out if it's because of the tread design or because of the game. So you can see there at the top, those two pipes, they actually will go inside the uh, mesh part and it'll help give it that extra grip that it needs to, to pull the escalator along. These are extra guide wheels as well and they do have drive power. Um, and again, they're just kind of there to help it. And the tension is just held by gravity. There's no, there's no tension or wheel, it doesn't really need it. But yeah, you can see it's uh, it's kind of like an escalator. So I originally started with a much bigger design than this, a much longer escalator, and quickly realized that it was stupid. And um, yeah, the the amount of force you need to lift that many wood blocks is absolutely... Kind of get jammed up here a little bit at the top. But you know, I, I'm a big fan of it. Of course, you can run down the escalator. It's kind of cool. It had to be at a 30 degree angle because of the block pieces. Um, so the way I made the tread is actually this. This is one staircase, and this surface right here is actually the top, and this surface here is the front. And uh, this block meshes with this one on the staircase below it, and then so on and so forth, and it just keeps looping around. And that design is nice because it doesn't allow the stairs to bend uh, up towards each other, but it allows them to bend down completely. So they can bend like 180 degrees down and take really tight corners like this, no problem. And you can see there, they're just moving along, and then as they go up the slope, they all mesh together, and they hit that kind of natural lock, and allows them to go up this slope nice and smooth, get towards the top, and so on and so forth. I kind of feel like setting up a bunch of treadmills and doing that OK Go song, like, you know, just a really complicated one to do. It took me a fair amount of time to get this to, to work properly, and uh, even then, you can see there's still some kind of jerkiness, some, some sort of laggy things, and this one set of stairs that naturally have to be wrapped when you build it kind of annoy me. I need to figure out how to get away from that. The thing with rebuilding this is as soon as the tread comes apart or you accidentally knock it apart, you have to weld the tread to the frame. But because of the collision detection, you can't just weld it to the frame where you built the frame. Even though, so you place the tread and you, I used controllers to keep all the pieces of the tread statically locked. And then after, so I basically have this ring of tread, right? And then I build all the wheels and frame around the tread. If you take the tread off and put it on a, a welding tool and it becomes rigid, it still doesn't, even though nothing's moved, it still won't place there. There's something that's always in collision. So you have to basically destroy the entire stand and rebuild it around the tread again. And it's a real pain in the arse. Okay, okay, we're gonna, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, 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 no. Turn off. I don't want to have to redo all this. Yeah, it's getting it's getting hung up here at the top. It might, you know what? It might just be jamming. Okay, let's just relieve the stress. Wait, is it just? I wonder if it's just jamming. It might just be jamming up on this. I think it is. Okay, let's just remove this. Let's just, you know, leave the open escalator for now. That that should be fine. All right, so we'll just leave that open, and now let's try reversing it. And I bet you it'll work. A little bit better, a little jerky, just like going up. But you know what? It's not bad. Um, obviously, a little bit glitchy here at the top. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, we're not gonna do that anymore. I'm scared. Right. So, 
obviously it was designed to be an up escalator um if you want to go down just jump come on like you know it's scrap mechanic there's no fall damage i'd like to make it not as frame rate intensive right now i'm getting about 30 31 frames a second um and obviously i'm recording as well but even still it's it's pretty bad would have been would have been nice to have a definitely a much smoother escalator but overall i i can't say i'm too disappointed i mean the the real the proof of the concept is here um i need to work on the track a little bit and i think the number of bearings that's in the connection seems to cause a problem a little bit of a problem but really this was just sort of trying to prove the concept and really try and understand how the building process for this works building tank treads is pretty easy you just lay out a rectangular tread and then you slap it onto the side of a tank um, the difficulty in this, of course, was building something that goes up on a slope, but yet maintains flat stairs. You know, it's actually not, not that bad. I mean, you can see, I think it's all the collisions between all the blocks that really causes it to kind of jerk. Because as it, as it rides over each section and it's sliding along the blocks, it's like colliding with everything. And I had originally tried this with all wheels and it was like, you know, doing the whole wave pattern. And so I thought, well, it's better to slide across the surface. It, it's a work in progress, and uh, with the frame rate I'm seeing, I'm really glad I built this on an empty world, and I didn't try building it on another world. So, but anyways, guys, if you like this video, remember to hit those buttons down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. I love that thumbs up button. Um, and send me your view requests if you have anything you want me to try building. Uh, this was a product I just kind of thought of, because I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to see how an escalator would work in Scrap Mechanic. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time.